In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce multi-step checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download and install the all-in-one checkout plugin, which is currently free and in beta mode. Okay, so once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So the second step in your case is to go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you've just downloaded. And then you'll see this AIO checkout menu here, all in one checkout menu here. Go ahead and click on it and then you'll be taken to this general settings area here. In your case, the third step would be to create a new checkout layout. So you just click create new checkout here. In my case, I've already created one. I'm going to go ahead and create another one just to show you the process. Okay, so we just click create new checkout. Okay, then it will take us to this general settings area here. And to create our multi-step checkout, it's dead simple. So by default, you'll have a single page checkout which is here. So we've got our billing information. We've got our shipping information as well. And then we've got the payment method. So the payment method will automatically um, display the different payment methods, which you've set up in your WooCommerce dashboard. Okay, so to add our second step in our checkout process, we'll just click this plus icon here. And here we are, this brings us on to step two. So straight away, this payment method is always automatically added to the final step, which makes sense. Okay, so let's add another step as well. So currently we've got a free step checkout. So step one, if we navigate to step one, we've got our billing details showing, we've got the shipping details, and it doesn't make sense to, um, well, you can have the shipping details here, but I'm gonna drag and drop this to step two. So you just go ahead and drag and drop it just like that. And as you can see, it's no longer on step one. And if we click on step two, we can see our shipping details here. And then on step three is the payment process. Okay, so it's dead simple. If you wanted to add new fields as well, you'll just click on this settings icons here and you can just go ahead and drag and drop the different fields onto your checkout page. For example, I can go ahead and add a, um, a custom checkbox here. Okay, and then when we click this um, cog icon, we can go and configure the individual field. So we can say by checking this box, you agree to our terms and conditions, okay? Okay, and that's our custom field here. We can go ahead and drag and drop it to something more appropriate as well. These days, depending on the country and the region that you're from, maybe you want to disable um, the email address. In this case, we'll just go ahead and click this icon here and we'll just click this eye icon to disable it. And currently our email fields disable. I'm going to go ahead and re-enable it and I'm going to drag and drop our phone number here. Um, let's go ahead and drop it here. If you wanted to add um, multiple fields per row as well, to do that, we'll go ahead and click on this um, cog icon here. Then we'll navigate to where it says appearance. And then here we've got three different options. So we can choose full, full width, half width, and then a third width, okay? And then if we add a third width here, as you can see, it's just here. And then we can do the same to another, to a few other um, fields. And then we can add three fields on a row, essentially. So I'm just gonna set this back to full width. Okay, another thing worth mentioning is, for example, when we click on this um, settings icon here for this field, is we've got this option here where it says display on. So when you're adding a custom fields, you might wanna display that custom field information on your thank you page, um, the user account page, and also the order page as well in the back end. So that's just a quick overview of how to use the all-in-one checkout plugin. For the design section, okay, so we're still building this out. So this is currently in base beta mode. But currently in terms of layout, you've got the option to choose a single page layout or a two column layout. In the future as well, in the next coming weeks or so, we'll have multiple professionally designed um, checkout pages that you can choose from. Okay, but for now you've got the option to set this to a single column or two column. I'm going to set it to two column for now. And then let's head back to our fields page here. Let's save changes and let's have a look on the front end how our checkout page is looking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and visit our store page. Okay, so currently I've already got a product in my shopping basket. So let's just go ahead and hit checkout and see if our multi-step checkout is functioning as we expect. So let's hit checkout. 
Okay, and here you can see our multi-step checkout is working exactly as it should. So first we've got our billing details. So once we've selected this, we can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is our shipping method. And then we'll navigate to payment method. Okay, and then this is the current payment method, which I've got on the system. Okay, so if I hit back, if you wanted as well to rename the step fields, it's really simple. Let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll show you how you go ahead and customize this. Okay, so to customize the step name, you just go ahead and click on this settings icon here. And here you can see our step label, which says step one. So we can say billing and you can name it anything you want. And we can do the same as well for step two. So we can say shipping. So this just makes it more user friendly and let the user know exactly um, what's going on at each step of the process. So we can just say shipping and then we can say um, payment. Okay, so I accidentally renamed this one. So let's change this back to shipping. Okay, let's hit save changes. And now let's go ahead and refresh our checkout page and hopefully our steps should be renamed. Okay, perfect. So here you can see step one billion, step two shipping, step three payment and so on. As I mentioned, this is currently in beta mode. So we have loads of different templates and design to create. For example, we'll be adding a vertical multi-step checkout. So the user will see step one here, step two here, step three there and so on. Okay, so there's still a lot to be done, but if you're interested in this plugin, I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so that's a quick look at our multi-step checkout with two columns. Now we can go ahead and switch it over to one column and see how that looks. So let's head back over to our dashboard and let's navigate to design and let's select a single column here. Save changes. And now when we visit our checkout page, let's refresh. And now you can see it's a single page multi-step checkout. And that's how you create a WooCommerce multi-step checkout in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. As mentioned, the link to this plugin will be in the description below. Go ahead and go ahead and get started. <laughs>